podcast, Alex, with your host, Alex. I'm here with the amazing Jamie Howard, comedian, actor, host, and half the brainchild of Laughing Boy. Half the brainchild of Laughing Boy. Yes, darling. Yeah. So, tell me, Jamie, how has 2010 been? Um, really good. Um, it's only in October, um, and I've got money in my account. Which is great. Still, um, really <laughs> good. Uh, no, uh, 2010 been really good. Um, um, I broke up with, with a girl. Okay. Got with another one. Which um, is brilliant. What's better than old things? Yes, yes. New things. Good, so good time. Good. Um, <laughs> I did a I did a film which is cool, which is in cinemas at the moment. What's um, it called? What's it called? It's called Market, the Kids. Right? Sorry, I'm, I don't have that much of a big part, and none of the profits will go to me. Um, <laughs> about laughing boy that's all i know because that is me that's when i that's where i met this beautiful this beautiful white boy True, that is where i met i brushed past her and i touched her breast you accidentally did. and then i added her on facebook and now she's at my house <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> so. it's great yeah so no no come on tell me when did, when did laughing boy start um when did it i don't know um, did, 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 was it a drunken night did no all right I, I i i do um i run laughing boy with a guy called arjun rose um, he's kind of the brain and the money behind it. Um, he's doing a film at the moment as well called Suicide Kids that he wrote that he just Elba um, is executive producing. Um, and I met Arjun about mm, coming up to three years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and he always used to come and I, I hosted a, another show. I can't remember what it was called. Um, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Come on, baby, tell me about no, and, boy. And, on, and Arjun watched and said I was like funny and he liked me and I, I phoned up a guy called Marvin Harrison who runs the Sunday show um, and I asked Marvin if Arjun was gay and he said no so I went alright cool it's fine we can be friends. Black people make some noise! <laughs> White girl make some noise! I brought my cousin along for some support. Um, big up, fam. Always the rule of three. So What's the rule the of rule three. Of three? Hold on, hold on. Is the rule of three. Oh, you, three. Can, you can do like a little, little thing, thing at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. The rule of three. Rule Featuring three. Alex's breasts. <laughs> um, it'd be wicked. Um, <laughs> if you do, if, you, if, you, if you're telling a story yeah. and you go, oh, I met this beautiful girl the other day, and then you, you will spin off three facts about that girl, okay. and the first two are always believable. And then the third one is either the punchline or something that's not as, as believable. Like me, as a Catholic, I wear my cross. Yeah. If you're Jewish, you wear the Star of David. If you're Islamic, you wear Fitness First Rucksack. Um, <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Wait. Um, Wait, let me explain myself. I'm just saying I'm going to the gym, okay? Jump to your own conclusions. I will say this though, my friend Mohammed has the most explosive birthdays. Uh, son, love the candles. That day I don't want to, I don't want to. First album you ever bought. And it got, don't, don't try and pick a cool one. No, I don't know. Um, I tell you, I don't know the first album I ever bought, but I tell you, an album that I have in my collection from when I was really young. Different. Remember Babylon Zoo? Give me the song. Space man, yeah. I always wanted, wanted you to, to go, go yeah, into buddy. space man, into intergalactic night. Yeah, I've, yeah, got, yeah, I've, got, I've got his album. Woo! Yeah, so. You have his al I didn't yeah. know what album? Mm, apparently that's so I think <laughs> I think Babylon Zoo is the first album I bought. Okay. And I remember buying a Richard Blackwood single and a Shola Hammer single. Oh, I love Shola. Yeah, Shola. Yeah. So best, um, your best gig first. My best gig, yeah. um, probably my first ever one. It didn't go exceptionally well, but if it wasn't for that one, then I wouldn't be on this couch with you today. Okay. So yeah, probably probably my first ever. Gig. And your worst gig. Oh, there's been a lot. Come on, <laughs> uh, come on. I remember doing Choice at Famous Comedy Club, yeah, and then I had a really good show, and then they booked me again like two months later to mm. do it. And when I was I was on the bus on the way there. And they phoned me, they were like, oh yeah, um, last time you performed, all your stuff's um, still online, so you have to do a new set. Shit! On the way Sorry, there. Sorry, we can't so, have that in. Whoops! <laughs> ah! OMG! Um, <laughs> and then so when I was on the bus on the way there, I was writing new stuff. 
And when I tell you it was terrible, I remember going, going, oh, so this recession, um, I just went to the cash point and put my card in and I put my pin in and it said credit crunch. Oh, and, honey. And I felt my... <laughs> but that I, is still quite funny. <laughs> no, it's not. Um, oh, credit crunch, is that a new kind of cereal? It was awful, yeah? And I think I got booed and Richard Blackwood went on stage and went, he's normally quite funny, I don't know what happened. That was a pretty bad gig. Yeah, that and I remember, I remember doing a gig for, I can't remember, a, like a, a, mu a music thing that I was hosting. Yeah. And everyone just had like Gucci belts, sunglasses and new era hats and were just crossing their arms. And I was on stage throughout the night for a good three hours and I don't think anyone smiled. Really? Yeah. It's hard. Is really? it quite kinda like there's a bit of a controversial question, is it kinda hard to be in like not being funny, blonde hair, almost Aryan looking and you're in, in a lot of places that you go to are quite you know, you're gonna meet those those kind of people. We know what you know uh, what I'm trying to say, yeah. Is it hard being white in a black environment? In a, in a predominantly black environment and telling jokes. Um Mm, no, no. Because I think you're quite. I think you're quite. You know, from what I know of you, you're quite streetwise. You, you know yourself, and you could definitely. And I don't. Yourself. I perform for anyone. I don't exactly. think it matters what color you are, what creed, what race, or religion, or whatever. If you're, I think if you're funny, and I try and write jokes for 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 everybody, everyone. no yeah. matter, no matter. Because everyone has a different uh, style, anything. you know. But sometimes, you know. sometimes it can be intimidating going in to any sort of comedy club mm -hmm. or any sort of event yeah yeah you know, like it can be the best job in the world but it can be the worst loneliest job in the world i'm having fun on here so i'm gonna stay is that all right yeah. have i got to get off yeah. oh uganda um <laughs> i'm probably like a civil war just broken out that he needs to get back to or something um so no wait wait, wait. All right, one, one more joke one wait I have to do a, I have to do a finishing joke. Hold on, go ahead, go down. Four, three, two, one. Count. Um, <laughs> don't fuck with me. I got a microphone. I win. I need to ask hecklers. Now. What about them? One, I love them. That's what I was going to ask you. Do you love hecklers? And love how hecklers. and and like how do you deal with them? What what's your like? If you were if you if a comedian and I'm a comedian trying to watch this and wants tips on. Yeah. on hecklers what would you give i don't know like i think once again it depends on you i, I would say i'm quite quick-witted yeah so if someone shouts something out like I, the other day i did a gig um and i was telling a joke about my mum mm -hmm. and there was a guy in the audience and he was really drunk and he was like yeah yeah i saw your mum the other day ask her about the cuban cigar meaning his penis okay uh, just in case we didn't get yeah, that I didn't. And, and i and i said i asked her about the cuban cigar she said it was really short and stumpy and went out far too quick uh, <laughs> which i think a good retort yeah, yeah but i I, I never i never had it planned mm -hmm. or anything um so i think if a heckler shouts something out would you say it's a challenge? Would you say it's oh, kind of definitely. that thing it challenges I, I, I think the I think the comedian generally will always win because we've got the microphone. Yeah. So and the audience will be on our side if we're having a good show. Yeah. I think if you get heckled and you're not that great on stage and the heckler said something funnier than you, you're that's never Stop cool. It. You're whoop. Yeah, yeah, you're OMG'd. Yeah, um, OMG'd. Love it. Yeah. Um but no, I re I really I quite enjoy it. Hecklers. But when I first started comedy, I was very, this is my first joke, then it's yeah. followed by this one, then it's this one, then I Structured. finish on that. And that is how it went in my head. So if something happened, you would completely throw me. Mm. Because I'd be like, no, no, this isn't, this isn't in it's the plan. Like this isn't, no, no, you're not meant to say that. <laughs> and I would go, <laughs> just because you don't look at me, doesn't mean I can't see you. Uh, <laughs> This is live. Uh, well done. You can't turn me over. Well done, sweetheart. Yay! Um, I'm, my name is Jamie Howard. Um, I'm 23 years old. Um, I know. This is like 23 years of not shaving. Look at this face. You could sit on this. Um, oh. Hey, your cards are at your mic. Um, don't bring your friend home. Um, <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Okay, yeah. favourite colour? Um, brown. 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 You like brown? brown. Yeah, brown. I don't mean in women, darling. I'm uh, just oh, really. sorry. Um, <laughs> like, like turquoise. Tur I, like, I really okay, like turquoise. turquoise. Okay. Favourite comedian? 
Apart from yourself. Um, Stephen K. Amos. Okay. Stephen, oh, Stephen K. Amos, okay. Worst comedian. Come on! No. Yeah, no, come on! No. Deliver it! Come on, come on, come on, come on! No, I don't think there are any bad comedians. It's think. not one, so you're just like, mm, maybe yeah, you should but, give up. Yeah, but with a little bit of work, no, no, oh, no, no, no. I think it, I think it's so tough to stand on that stage. So anyone that does it, I respect you. There's loads of shit ones out there. Don't get me wrong, um, but I won't. Do you know what I hate actually? I, I don't mind if you, if you, if you're shit, yeah, but you've written all your own stuff, then cool. Okay. If you've got on stage and you're making people laugh, but it's someone else's it's material, jokes. then I would like you to be anally raped in hell. We might have to cut that section out and just put, he doesn't like them. Okay. What's wrong with anally raping in hell? Oh, I don't know, I just think it's quite cool. But any smooth, any... <laughs> <laughs> Stop being behaviour, he's so naughty. I am just doing an interview with you, you're so naughty. Right, okay, and uh, favourite food? Um, favourite food, I really like a good Sunday roast. Good times, favourite mm. sexual position? Favourite sexual position with a girl? Yes. Would you like to do with, with a guy? With, no, with a girl. With a girl? Just, any, just with a girl. Just, any, just, any, yeah. No, 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 pick with a one. Girl. Pick one. Uh, I like doggy, but only if she's got really big boobs. And they, then they, they, her breasts, like, <laughs> it's, really, like, it's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Favourite current artist? Go, like, um, see how they just brought out Pro there. Green. Pro Green. Pro Green. Favourite yeah. alcoholic drink? Emmy. Ray and Nephew, because I will do anything. Oh, okay. Give me Ray and nephew, and I'll and you're, I'll, and you're up for a I'll sleep with your dad. Brilliant. Not your dad. I never met your dad. You I hope not. My dad's not. Oi, <laughs> oi! Don't insult me on my show. No, I'm not telling you mine. Oh no, it's not. He's beautiful. Mm. It's like filming children. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is my last joke because apparently I gotta go because like I'm gonna get beaten up or something. Um, <laughs> I got my car back. As yeah, I just want to say, um, if it wasn't for me um, being here today, they wouldn't have got the funding in order to put this gig on. Um, <laughs> so I don't think you lot should be fucking grateful that I'm here. Um, but yeah, um, I was I was I was going home the other day and, and I saw a woman collecting money for the floods in Pakistan. Yeah, and I thought that's really nice, but why not just send them the bucket? Um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I'm on Twitter. Follow me, Jamie Howard. Ha ha. Um, it's even fun. Um, I'm gonna be by the bar. Um, come and like uh, stroke me. <laughs> hey. um, and on that note, <laughs> I'm gonna say thank you, Jamie, and thank you, thank you very much for watching. Mwah!